Hey folks, Daniel here. This is video number 74 uh, in the video series that corresponds to the book, Road of Happy Destiny. And in this video, I'm just going to talk. I have a few things to talk about, but I don't have a particular direction other than just to talk about some correlations that I found. Um, what I did in the first attempt at recording this video was um, go after to spin the open the scriptures and out of, again out of reverence and respect and you know praying first and all this and getting the Holy Spirit involved looking for a message to talk about where there would be one scripture and then there would be another just like in the last video um, and there was a small message but the message was a little bit obscure and it took me a minute to realize what it was that the message was indicating and what the message was indicating was just that uh, it was just a statement it was a it was a statement a display it was more of a sign than it was a message and what the sign was indicating was that God is in control he is in charge and we have free will so he's not 100% in control but he is absolutely in charge and when we give him charge over our lives he can move uh, and he does move he wants to move in our lives so what I did was I spun the scripture open and I landed in Matthew 3 3 then I did it again and I landed in Isaiah and it's not ironic or coincidental, there's a correlation there. And whenever there's a correlation, a positive correlation or a connection point between two things, usually there's a relationship. And what the relationship was, was that God was just letting me know, yes, I'm still here, you're being a little ridiculous with this one, but I'm still going to honor that, and he did. And so what happened in Matthew 3, 3 was talking about how uh, John the Baptist was declaring uh, to those around him that he was in fact the one that Isaiah, yeah, same Isaiah was talking about when he was speaking of somebody crying out from the wilderness um, uh, and he, that he needed to prepare a way for the coming Messiah. Well, the next verse that I go to, that again was Matthew 3.3, 3. the next verse I go to is in Isaiah. Well, he's talking about Isaiah. And then in the verse of Isaiah, it's talking about the, it's prophesying of the destruction of Babylon. And what Isaiah is doing, and he's talking on behalf of God, and he's writing what God's words were that he had spoken, that a certain thing was going to happen. And what that was, was that certain reinforcements and, uh, well, certain forces of the uh, of the army they were going against were going to be diminished within a year. And it's going to happen because God said so. And that's what the scripture was saying in paraphrase. And then, in uh, and again, back in Matthew, it's talking about Isaiah. And it's specifically talking about how God was speaking. Um, so those were the two correlations that I saw there. And... Beyond that, I didn't. I, I, I tried to dig a little deeper, and I couldn't find much. Um, and I think that that was because the message wasn't a message; it was a sign. Um, and we're not supposed to ever do this to test God. He says very specifically, "Don't do that." But if you're going to test Him in anything, at ever test Him in His uh, His faithfulness, um, and that's what He did. I, I felt called to do that activity, take that action, step out in faith. I felt ridiculous. I felt embarrassed to even try because I know, in my experience, whenever you try to replicate the results, it changes them. Whenever a person tries to put in their own agenda or control it, it doesn't work. So just trying to do it a second time wasn't something I would continue doing. I've done it, I did it for a while, it didn't work. I was The first time I tried every single time, it worked. You know, with maybe a couple of exceptions that I don't recall, um, if any. Um, but the very next time I tried to replicate those results, pride got in there somehow a little bit, and it just wouldn't work as it wouldn't, right? Well, just not, not again, not to test God, but to just kind of check and see, hey, was this really you telling me to do this? Kind of make a fool of myself in front of the world? Was that you? Let's try it again, I guess. So I did, and it talked, and I opened up um, in scripture, and I was talking about the moment where Jesus was basically begging the Father, if this can be done in any other way, please. Nonetheless, I mean, I'll please take this cup from me, but in either case, your will, not mine, be done. And then the very next verse I landed in was talking about drinking a cup. Uh, specifically, not the same cup, but talking about drinking and having to um, be prepared and willing. Not so much prepared, that's helpful, but being willing, nonetheless, to endure whatever it takes for the sake of God, for the sake of His glory, for the sake of His message and spreading the gospel and His mission. Um, and so all those things were, were taking place. And then I opened it up one more time, just again, because I was having some doubt and the word I landed on that time was, I asked God, what should I talk about? He landed on the topic godliness. And then I did it one more time and he said service. I'm like, 
okay, I just need to be of service and be obedient and give this message. So all I'm saying is to say that God is in charge, and if you will have faith in a way that he can communicate with you, he will honor that. I'll be right back. Hey folks, back again, and I just wanted to ask you, if you don't mind, if you would let me know in the comments what you think about this video and what sort of revelation you may have come up with that connects to it. Um, please do be kind and uh, considerate of the other people that view this video. Uh, I have not asked pre previously for people to leave comments before, um, but this is also kind of a unique video in that I didn't really have too much of a direction with it to begin with, and I kind of want to see what people uh, have been able to drive out of it. Maybe there's a deeper message and I need your help to come up with that, or to uh, declare it anyway. So it is my sincerest prayer in this moment that God bless you continually and abundantly beyond even what you already deserve that he brings redemption and restoration into your life and that you enjoy the rest of this day and the rest of this week again thank you so much for taking the time to help me spread these messages and be a part of this uh this ministry and the community uh surrounding it so i just say all these things in the name of jesus christ amen